Hello class, welcome to another math lesson. Today we will be learning approximation and at the end of the lesson you should know how to approximate numbers to any given degree of accuracy and solve quantitative reasoning problems relating to approximation of numbers. Are you ready? Let's begin. Meet Gambo. He has landed property he needs to build on. He is casually speaking to an architect, Ms. Hadiza, about the area of the space. He tells her it's approximately 4,650 square meters. This information helps Ms. Hadiza have a visual idea about what the space looks like in terms of size and what's achievable with that space. This is what approximation is all about and how it is used in real life. In mathematics, an approximation is a number that is similar but not exactly equal to another number. For example, a piece of fabric with a measurement of 59.91 cm can be rounded up to 60 cm. It is not exactly but it's good enough to be used as the length of the fabric. A number can be approximated by rounding up to the nearest decimal or significant figure. We can round decimals to the nearest whole number, tenths or hundredths when having exact values isn't important. There are two basic rules to follow, however, when rounding a decimal number. 1. If the digit is less than 5 after the decimal point, round down the digit after it. 2. If the digit after the decimal point is 5 or more, round up the digit after it. Rounding of decimals to decimal places means rounding up to the nearest tenth, hundredth and thousandth and so on. That is, rounding up to one decimal place means rounding up to the nearest tenth. Rounding up to two decimal places means rounding up to the nearest hundredth. And rounding up to three decimal places means rounding up to the nearest thousandth. Let's take a look at one example. Round of 2.9163 to 1, 2 and 3 decimal places. 2.9163 rounded up to 1 decimal place or the nearest tenth is 2.9 because 9 is followed by 1 and 1 is less than 5. 2.9163 rounded up to 2 decimal places or the nearest hundredth is 2.92 because 1 is followed by 6 and 6 is greater than 5. 2.9163 rounded up to 3 decimal places or the nearest thousand is 2.916 because 6 is followed by 3 and 3 is less than 5. Round enough to a significant figure can be applied to any kind of number. It rounds to the most important figure in the number. There are some rules to follow when rounding off to a significant figure. 1. All non-zero numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. are always significant. And 2. All zeros between non-zero numbers are always significant. Let's see what this means with this example. 33,879 to one significant figure is 30,000. This is because the first significant number is 3. 33,879 to two significant figures is 34,000. Because the second significant number is 3, which is less than 5, so we round it up to 4. Now, try these quantitative reasoning problems on your screen. Check your answers and compare it with the one on the screen. And this brings us to the end of the lesson. We've had a great time learning about approximating numbers to decimal places and significant figures. See you in the next lesson.